as it regards to today's tutorial, we shall be looking at a problem under vector. This problem will help us understand some aspects of vector. The problem reads, given that vector A is equal to 3i plus 12j minus 4k and vector B to be 6i minus 3j plus 2k, find i, the dot product of A and B, i i, the vector product of A and B, and i i i, the angle between A and B. For the sake of today's tutorial, we shall be looking at the solution to this problem manually. But in our next video, I am going to walk us through on how you can solve this same problem using your simple calculator. In that case, you don't have to waste your time whenever you are answering objective questions. So for the sake of today's tutorial, let us go ahead with the number one question which is the dot product of A and B. In the dot product, what you simply do is to multiply coefficients of the variables. For example, when you talk about the dot product here, that means you are going to multiply the coefficient of i in the vector a with the coefficient of i in the vector b, which is 3 and 6. You also multiply the coefficient of j, which is 12, with the coefficient of j in the vector b, which is minus 3. You do likewise to the coefficients of k, that is minus 4 multiplied by 2. I you know 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. And minus 3 multiplied by 12 is minus 36. Minus 4 multiplied by 8 is minus 8. So we are going to have 18 minus 36 minus 8. So when you play around with the arithmetic, the answer is going to give you minus 26. I hope that was so simple. So if you have this kind of problem in your examination, you don't have to bother yourself. You don't have to panic. Just go ahead and apply this particular method and your answer will jump out. The second problem is vector product of A and B. In vector product, you solve it using matrix method. So we are going to represent this problem in the matrix form. So if you look at this, you will see that in the question, the first letter you had is I, followed by J, and finally K. Then coefficient of I in the first vector is 3. Coefficient of J is 12. And coefficient of K is minus 4. In the second vector, coefficient of I is 6. Coefficient of J is minus 3. And coefficient of k is 2. If you are able to arrange this problem in this form, that means you have some steps close to your answer. If you apply the knowledge of determinant here, you are going to see that the first element is positive, second element is negative, third element is positive, so on and so forth. So have it in mind that the first one is positive, second one negative, and the third one positive. The law of metric says that whenever you are considering this i, that means you are going to cover the column and the row which this i belong. If you should cover this row and this column, you will be left with 12 minus 4 minus 3 and 2. Then you will say 12 multiplied by 2, the diagonal, that will give you 24. And um, minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 will give you 12. So that will be 24 minus 12. Remember, negative, negative will be positive. And uh, it's always this diagonal minus this diagonal. You go to J. J, like I said, is negative. Even if it's not very negative in the equation. When solving, uh, you treat it as negative. And if it's negative, that means negative, negative will be positive. Then you cover the column and the row which J belongs to. Then you have 3, 2, minus 4, and 6 remaining. This diagonal, which is 3 multiplied by 2, will give you 6. Then minus this diagonal. This diagonal is minus 4 multiplied by 6 which is 24 and um, the 24 is negative so 6 minus minus 24 will give you 6 plus 24 k is positive then you cover the column and the row which k belongs to you have 3 12 6 and minus 3 remaining and uh, 3 multiplied by minus 3 is minus 9 minus the product of 12 and 6 if you play around with this you are going to have that 12 i minus 30 j minus 81 k is the vector product now let's go to the final question which is the angle between the vector a and vector b so whenever you are looking for angle between two vectors this is the formula you use theta is equals to cos inverse of the dot product all over the magnitude of the two vectors if you look at this you actually see that we've succeeded in getting the dot product but we don't have the magnitude for us to substitute therefore let's go ahead and get the magnitude in getting the magnitude the simple task we're going to do um, is to take the square root of x square plus y square plus z square. These are actually the coefficients of vector a, which is 3, 12, minus 4. Then 3 raised to the power 2 is 9. 12 raised to the power 2 is 144. And a minus 4 raised to the power 2 is 16. If you play around with that, 
you will land yourself at square root of 169. You also do the same thing for vector b to get the magnitude. In getting the magnitude of vector b, just square all these coefficients. That is coefficients of i, j, and k. When you square it, you take the square root. So when taking the square root, you see that 6 squared is 36, minus 3 squared is 9, and uh, 2 squared is 4. When you add it up, you will have 49, and square root of 49 is 7. Finally, you go back to your formula. Already we know our dot product to be minus 26. Then the value of our A magnitude is 13, and B magnitude is 7. Let's go ahead to input this value into our calculator to find out what our final answer will look like. We have shift cos to have cos inverse and uh, you have a fraction which is minus 26 forward button 7 ply by 13 forward button close bracket so we've actually inputted exactly what we have in the equation in our calculator it's equal to we have 106.6 degree as our final answer if this video was really interesting and uh, you actually enjoyed it Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and I promise you, you will never get anything less.